dear students lot of request comes from my students to conduct a video on hybridization experiment you were all heard that in gj mendel's experiment that he was conducted a hybridization experiment on garden pea plant to generalize his results the law of inheritance or principle of inheritance what is this hybridization experiment as the grigor john mendel selected the contrasting pair of character in garden pea plant and conducted the hybridization work what is this hybridization how to bring the characteristic feature of two different varieties two different species and combine in a single plant in this small video i try to explain what is this hybridization experiment so a hypothetical example so this one is the datura plant of wild weedy species one of the variety of datura and in an another datura plant so this one is another datura plant of a garden plant an ornamental plant so it is growing as an ornamental plant it produces a beautiful flower a beautiful flower but it is prone to number of diseases it is not so resistant this plant is not so resistant so this is the wild weedy species it does not be a so beautiful flower but it is resistant to diseases number of bacteria fungal and other nematode diseases so it is having its own specific character it is also having its own specific character the lack of one or more character it does not have any disease resistant character it does not be as a beautiful flower but we have to combine the two characters so one is disease resistant character from this plant and in this plant we have to combine the character of beautiful flower grown as an ornamental variety what to do for this uh, hybridization work we have to select one plant as a male plant and one plant as a female plant in this experiment we have to take this plant as a female plant this plant as a female plant we have to intact the gynoecium the female part of the flower so this plant as a male plant we have to select the anther of stamen as a male reproductive part so first of all what to do in this hybridization experiment in the early morning before anthesis or before opening of the flower so nearly about 5:30 to 6 o'clock in early morning we have to just open the flower bud flower bud it is having a, its own male and female reproductive parts so you can see this one is the female reproductive part the style and stigma and it also having the male reproductive part the andrisium we can see the andrisium and gynoecium the plant is bisexual if the pollen grain of this anther gets pollinated on the stigma of its own flower this is called self pollination in this hybridization work we have to con conduct the controlled cross pollination that controlled cross pollination is called hybridization experiment so to do the controlled co cross pollination we have to avoid the self pollination in this flower to avoid the self pollination that is the pollen grain of this anther should not be fall on the stigma of the same flower so to remove all these stamens i have to remove all these stamens before the stigma receptivity so this is called emasculation emasculation removal of anther is called emasculation before the stigma become receptive so if you touch it you can see a sticky substance when it becomes a receptive stigma that is nearly about 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock so in the early morning the stigma is not receptive unable to receive the pollen grain so have to cover it with a polythene bag to prevents the pollination 
of pollen bean comes from some other plant and then you have to select the male plant just open the male plant and the matured flower in this flower you have to take the answer of stamen take a single stamen so it contain anther and full of pollen grain just open the polythene bag polythene cover nearly about 8 o'clock the stigma become receptive at the time we have to conduct this hybridization or controlled cross pollination after opening of the polythene bag yeah you can dust the pollen grain pollen grain on the receptive stigma it get pollinated it get pollinated so this pollen grain is of other variety of ornamental plant we are taking the genes the group of gene and n number of chromosome present in pollen grain and get dusted on the receptive stigma and then again you can cover it with polythene bag leave it for few days and you can tag with certain labelings which includes the name of the male plant name of the female plant and the date of pollination and so and so on so the pollinated pollen grain the in the controlled cross pollination the pollinated pollen grain starts germinating on the receptive stigma it produces the pollen tube and reaches the ovary discharges its uh, two of its male gametes one of the male gamete fertilizes with the egg to produce the zygote and another male gamete another male gamete unite with the polar nuclei and that produces pen that is primary endosperm nucleus so you know the double fertilization so after pollination and fertilization the ovary develops into fruit ovary develops into fruit and the seed produced in it is a hybrid seed this hybrid seed if you sow this hybrid seed which which contain the characteristic feature of both of these two plants it bears beautiful ornamental flower and it contain a characteristic feature of disease resistant so in this way mendel conducted the hybridization experiment in tall and dorf and also by taking other contrasting character in garden pea plant and combining the character characteristic feature of two or more varieties of plants thanks thanks one and all